is Good Shepherd Sunday. God is a shepherd, right? We hear we hear his voice and we follow him. Isn't that what Paul and Barnabas did? They followed God's teachings in the first reading. And even though they were rejected by the Jews, the Gentiles received the good news. And you notice when they when they left after being rejected, they dusted off their feet. Remember when they were sent out, they were sent out with no bag, just one tunic, no sandals, and no walking stick. That's why they dusted dusted their feet. They couldn't dust off their sandals. They didn't have any. And Jesus says, the good shepherd, I will give them eternal life. Eternal life in God's kingdom. And all we have to do is follow, follow his works. Love God, love one another. To have, to have and to gain eternal kingdom is pretty simple, right? Love God, love your brothers and your sisters. And he says he's gonna have, we're gonna have eternal life because he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And they will not perish. Remember the souls of the just are in the hands of God and no torment will touch them. In the second reading, John is talking about his vision. Remember last week, John's vision was about the lamb that was slain. It was worthy to have power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. In this vision, John gives us, gives the people a vision of hope through the crucified lamb. Because when he was exiled in the island, you know, the Christians were being persecuted by the emperor Domitian. You either worship the, the emperor or you lost your life. And so John has a vision of hope for the people that are being persecuted. Those that, that survived the persecution and they're wiped clean through the blood of, of the Lamb. They will be fed and they will be led by the Lamb to the springs of life-giving water. And God will wipe every tears from their eyes. Because it will be a new heaven and a new earth because of the sacrificial lamb that he's talking about. Today is, today is Mother's Day. And I'd like to compare the Good Shepherd to our moms. They hear my voice, I 
I know them and they follow me. You ever seen an infant? Hear the sound of his mother's voice? And he goes right to her. And if we follow the teachings of her mom, we stand a good chance of eternal life. And our moms says they will not they will not perish in my father's hands. And you know, we will not perish in their mother's hands either because they're very protective. And they don't protect us just while we're infants, they protect us during our, our whole earthly journey. And so why, that's why I think that the that our moms are as well classified as a good shepherd in our lives. They seem to have an unending source of energy. They seem to have an unending source of wisdom. And when I talk about energy, you know, they're the, they're the first ones to get up. They're the last ones to go to bed. Somehow or other, they get us everything that we need along our earthly journey. They'll get you that, that special gift that, that you wanted, that you thought that the family could afford. Somehow, that mom that's a good shepherd realizes that dream for you. I've seen moms when they, when their children are having a quinceanera, they take on a second job. And not only that, they'll sell like tamales, tacos, whatever they, whatever they can do to make that that dream possible for their children. That's why I think that the, the Good Shepherd <coughs> is a good title for our, for our moms because they do you know, think, well, that we don't think that it will ever be accomplished in our lives. They give us opportunities that we thought we'd never get. That's why they call them soccer moms, baseball moms, football moms, right? <coughs> and they're always, you know, the, for the moms, their children comes first. The interest of their, their children, their welfare. Yeah, that's first. That's first. I can think of many, many instances that you know. I was, I was amazed at, at my mom. What she, what she accomplished. She became a citizen at, at the age of sixty something. She, she would study, and she, she'd ask me, ask me questions. Who's the president? Who's the senator? And one day, her and about four of her only friends went, and they all got their citizenship. But this just goes to show you that, you know, the moms have a tremendous amount of drive, a tremendous amount of dedication for their children. And we are blessed because we have two shepherds in our life. We have Jesus as a shepherd. And we have our moms as the kind of shepherds as well. So today we say Happy Mother's Day to all the good shepherds in our lives. And those would be good shepherds that you know that come into our life and also give us that that are the 
motherly figure and to give us a little bit of direction so that we can continue on our earthly journey and become the people that we need to become to serve God and to serve each other. Amen.